In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create typography effect in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here I've created this word called best and you can create any alphabet of your choice depending on the requirement. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this QR code and if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill background. Right mouse click, go to format background and you can see here I have choose the type as radial and direction from the center and I have used two colors, two stops here. One is a light color, another is a dark blue color. Okay. Then go to insert text box. I'm going to type for example the alphabet B and I'm going to use the font called Helvetica. Make it bold increase the size depending on your requirement you can see here maybe this much size i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate keep this aside all right now this one i'm going to give a gradient fill okay so depending on the requirement what color you need you can just choose that one so you have got in the format shape shape options and text options because we are working with the text you need to choose the text option okay and select the gradient fill uh, because I have used in the background that's the reason the same gradient fill is coming so now I'm going to give the type as uh, linear okay and now the first color which I'm going to use uh, could be a uh, dark pink another one I could use some light pink and then I'm going to use some kind of a, a yellow color all right and then the direction I'm going to make the uh, yellow at the bottom all right and then I want more yellow so I can just increase this one here and on pink also I want more so I'm just going to make it more pink as well all right so uh, it end up getting something like this now this also I'm going to keep aside and press ctrl D to duplicate and here I'm going to give a 3d look for this one to do a 3d look you have to go to the text effects go to the 3d rotation you can see here presets I'm going to choose which is uh, this one uh, say this is the perspective left all right and go to the 3d format and increase the depth you can see here this depth start increasing this one so you can see here how much depth you need you can just increase it all right and then here you need to go and change uh, the lighting effect maybe I'm going to give a white all right and I can give uh, some uh, transparent uh, powder kind of thing or if you want you can just make it more darker as well all right so something like this now I'm going to place this one let me just reduce the size of this okay now let me just put this one here exactly on top of this and giving a little bit of gap it looks something like this then I'm going to select this one, press Ctrl D to duplicate. And this one I'm going to give only the outlines. For that, you need to go to the shape format, text outline, make it white, text fill, make it no fill. And if you like to increase the weight of the line, you can increase it. All right. So it looks like this. Then I'm going to add one more. We have to add multiple of this one to get that particular effect okay so now for this one i would like to give some kind of a, a white effect here for this i'm going to the gradient fill again now instead of this one i would like only white so i'm going to choose white and here also i'm going to choose white all right and this white i'm going to make it fully transparent and here also a little bit of transparent okay maybe this much only all right so now i'm going to put this one here send this to back all right like this i just need to put it okay now i'm going to select both of these shapes and i'm going to put it on top of this and make sure it is bring to front okay just align it properly so it looks like this all right and now for this one i'm going to use for the shadow effect for the shadow 
I can go to again text effects increase the transparency here you can see here now I'm going to put it one like this press ctrl D one more and I'm going to make it here like this and make sure both to be sent to back okay this also we need to send to back all right sorry not that one I think it's already back okay so just align it properly so once this is done I'm going to select all press ctrl G to group it and I'm going to put it here now the similar thing we have to do it now hold the ctrl shift key and move it here then ungroup this now you have to remove one by one all right I'm just going to remove one by one and I'm going to we can see here let me just put it down first of all I'm going to choose this one and this is E I'm going to put it here E then this comes here and then I'm going to just put it on top of this all right you need to properly align that one then this one even this also so here this will go like this all right now I'm going to select both of these shapes and put it exactly here and then this also I'm going to make it as E and this is also E put it like this and this also I'm going to make it like this all right so you can see here like this you can just uh, create any alphabet of your choice and once this is done we can give some simple animation effect to it